Okay, so most of us want some dude to run around on the screen, and um, we've talked about two different ways. Maybe he moves across the screen, or maybe uh, he just looks like he runs in place and the background moves by. I'll show you how to do those things in a different video, at least the scrolling part. But for now, I'm just interested in getting this guy to look like he's running. So one way I can do that is to, just like we always do whenever, um, whenever the green flag is clicked, do something forever. That's how a lot of this stuff starts out. So what I want to do in here is just check to see if someone is pressing the right arrow key. And the way I do that is with sensing, and it's here. So if the right arrow key is pressed, then change costumes. Let's see how that works. It's kind of freaking out. So all we have to do is add a little weight in there after he changes his costume and before changing the next costume. So let's try that again. He walks pretty reasonably now. So um, now the question is, can I get him to run uh, towards the left? So I will just control click here and duplicate. I will use the left arrow here instead. And if I try running it again, when I click the left arrow, he moves. When I click the right arrow, he moves. Not exactly what I want. I want him to face the other direction. So. How do I make that happen? You might be tempted to go into motion and either use the turn or point um, blocks, and let's see how that goes. So if I point in direction, there's even something here that says left, that seems perfect. If you try this and I hit the right button, it works. If I hit the left button, he starts running upside down. So the reason for this is if you look in costumes, there, there are only two sprites here, one goes well, they, they both go to the right. They just have different foot positions. So the best thing that Scratch can do, remember it's kind of a dumb robot doing exactly what you tell it. So you haven't told it to kind of change to a costume that faces the left. You've just told this sprite to look to the left. And he is doing that, except he's upside down. So the way that we can get around that is uh, not with this point in direction, but to make two new costumes. So let me show you how that works. Here's uh, costume one and costume two. You can see he's kind of running around. And uh, before I go any further, let me flip him back. So um, it's kind of annoying that we have to deal with this, but uh, I'll just do this one time. I want to hit run. Now he's facing the right direction, and now I can get rid of that. I don't know, that, there's probably an easier way to do that, but now we're back to normal. So in the costume section, I want to um, add two new costumes. And the easiest way to do that is to copy this one. So now that's costume three. And I'll just edit and flip them. And then I want a costume four, which looks like this guy, except flipped. OK, so we should be good now. Uh, the only problem is if I just do, if I just leave everything the way it is and use next costume, it's going to go through costumes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which is kind of nice. He dances. but. Uh, not what we're looking for. So what I really would like is anytime he goes to the right, I want him to just choose between costumes one and two. And when he goes towards the left, I want him to cycle between costumes three and four. So here's how we could do it. I think uh, the best way is probably to create a variable called current costume, just for this sprite. And this basically just will keep track of which costume we're using at the moment. So for um, the right arrow, let's, let's do this. Switch to costume number one. We know that's a good one. Don't need the uh, next costume. I'll leave it like this for now. And any time I press the right arrow, he should switch to costume one. This isn't going to be that interesting pressing the right arrow, and he's just staying in costume one. What I'd like, though, is to say, first of all, um, anytime I change to co a costume, I should update this new variable that I made. So uh, I've changed to costume one, and I'll set my current costume to one. If I forget to do that anywhere, it kind of breaks the whole system. So I'm trying to keep these in sync. Anytime I change costume, I update my current costume variable. So um, what I need is some kind of if statement that says, and if I'm currently using costume one, then I should instead switch to costume two. 
and if I'm using costume 2, I should switch back to costume 1. So it's a way of alternating just between costumes 1 and 2 instead of 1, 2, 3, 4. How can I do that? I've already said if in my explanation, so that probably means I need an if statement here. Uh, I think, I think uh, if else will work best. So if the current costume is equal to 1, then I want to switch to costume number 2. And of course, anytime I switch costumes, I update uh, my current costume variable. Otherwise, I want to switch to costume 1. So this is a way of just going between the two. And remember, anytime I change costumes, I'm going to use this new variable that I set up and make sure it's correct. So let's see if at least uh, going in the right direction works. He's working. Still going too fast. That I should I should grab my weight back here and uh, drop it right there. I don't have to put it underneath each. So I could I could say switch to costume two and wait. Switch to costume one and wait. But uh, this is the same thing. So anytime someone presses the right arrow, it chooses between costumes one or two, and then waits. Working good. Okay. So. What I, th I think what I need now is to just basically copy that whole thing over for uh, the left arrow. So I will duplicate. And instead of the right arrow, I'll use the left arrow. And instead of switching between costumes uh, 1 and 2, I'll switch between costumes 3 and 4. Here, when I switch to costume 3, I update my current costume to 3. And this should be a 4. And uh, the last thing is, you know, I only want to switch to costume three if my current costume is four. So this keeps us between four and three, four and three. Let's go into the right, go into the left, go into the right. If you take a look at the current costume number up here, it's perfect. It shows me one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four. That's it.